We continue to give you reaction to the breaking story. That's the resignation of Nosi Fiuema Pisangakula as Speaker of the National Assembly. We're now joined by FF Plus leader Peter Grunewald. Mr. Grunewald, thank you very much for your time. Your reaction to the resignation? Well, firstly, the Freedom Front Plus welcomes the resignation of the Speaker, but not only as Speaker, but also as Member of Parliament. From the start, we said, that she actually has no choice but to resign because of the position of speaker. We must remember that that is supposed to be symbolizing the ethics of parliament in the sense of integrity, of honesty, and of respect to ensure that the decorum of parliament is protected. Therefore, I say that she had no choice. We've asked it from the start. And... We must also remember that this can now be used as an example for other members of parliament that should also resign when serious allegations of corruption is made against them. Mm -hmm. uh, if they really want to protect parliament, then they should also resign. Mm -hmm. Doctor, now the ANC has since issued a statement confirming the resignation, but in that particular statement, they go on to say that they value her commitment to maintain the image of the organization, almost reiterating what she stated in her resignation letter, that this is her retaining or regarding the stature and understanding her role as parliamentary speaker at the time, that she wants to retain the integrity of the House. Your views on just that? That's what she's saying now. But uh, why didn't she do it long ago? Uh, we've just heard, like, there were other allegations against her as well. Even as Minister of Defence, there were serious allegations of corruption against her, not only in terms of money, but also for the fact that she misused the position to take members of the ANC to Zimbabwe in a military aircraft, uh, bringing in an illegal person from a foreign country into South Africa misusing her position, allowing, for instance, the landing of the, the Guptas on the water to uh, Air Force Base. Uh, she actually made a lot of mistakes, and her history as minister already was proof that she is not suitable for the position of speaker. The Freedom Front Plus then said, that with these allegations against her, she should not be appointed as a Speaker of Parliament. Now we are proved correctly because she just continued in that position. I think that she had no option. Uh, of course, she will come forward with her excuses. Uh, and of course, that is the way to say it's to protect now the integrity of Parliament. But I think that these allegations are so serious that she knows that the chances to survive is actually very, very slim. Mm -hmm. Should the party have acted sooner? Should, again? Should the ANC have acted sooner? Because just on that statement alone, they are almost yes. valuing or thanking her for the decision that she has taken. Yes, of course I should have taken uh, earlier steps. Uh, and the question is, why did they wait so long? But, you know, the problem is that the image of Parliament has been tarnished. Uh, even the previous speaker, Mr. Ms. Tandy Ms. Bise, when she went to the Zonda Commission, actually apologized to the people of South Africa for the fact that Parliament actually failed in its, uh, can I say, constitutional obligation to ensure accountability uh, when it comes, for instance, to the executive's uh, of South Africa, the government as such. Now, therefore, people in South Africa see Parliament as, in a certain sense, not honest, not credible, not uh, can, uh, say accountable to the people. And we have these examples. And if the uh, INC wanted to ensure these principles, they would have acted. Then they would also, for instance, uh, support the whole situation and the further investigation on the parlor parlor issue when it comes to the president. They must use, on many occasions, the majority in the National Assembly to protect ANC people. And I mean, the Secretary General 
uh, Mr. Fakila Mbalula admitted and said yes, they protected members of the executive of the ANC. Now it's humbling to come forward and say that they have acted. It's too little, too late. Dr. Grunewald, thank you very much for your time this evening. That's Dr. Peter Grunewald, leader of the FF Plus.